guys this is Hyundai Bros for one a today we've got another gun review for you this is a Ruger Wrangler 22 revolver it's a chamber and 22 long rifle you can't change a cylinder and make it a 22 Magnum like those heritage revolvers but we personally think that this is much better than heritage is we shot all kinds of different heritage revolvers and uh, actually we've actually shot a Colt 22 revolver which is really awesome but uh, they don't make those anymore but this is better than the heritage we think just because it's it's a Ruger and it's better constructed, a little bit more expensive. Um, and also, the one time we did shoot a Heritage, it actually the didn't cam right, and pieces of the lead from the bullet came flying back towards us and hit us all in the head. Luckily, we had glasses on, so it didn't hurt anybody. It also jammed on us, too. The cylinder seized up and wouldn't turn. This gun here has had almost a 1,000 rounds to it, almost two big boxes full of 22s. It hasn't ever had any problems like that. So, this gun I got for $1.99 at our local hardware store, which might be kind of expensive, but it was the only one that they had. Got this burnt bronze, as you can see, Cerakoted, really cool. It's got a, some kind of um, alloy frame on it. It's got a cold hammer forged steel barrel <clears throat> and the cylinder stainless steel, too. It's got an alloy um, trigger and a hammer. Also, this has got the transfer bar safety in there. You can see it. Kind of cool. <clears throat> it also has just regular plastic grips and stuff like that. And it has a lighter wolf, it has a wolf 17 pound hammer spring in there, so it's a little bit lighter on the cocked hammer back. The trigger is still the same though. It does have a really nice trigger. You, know, you guys are probably going crazy, but in the manual it says you can dry fire this revolver. That's what the actual Ruger manual that came with this gun says. So there's the sights. You can see it's just a very super small notch cut in there, kind of like a coal in the blade front sight. But you can file this down or bend it side to side if you want to, which we're not going to do that. Anyways, hold six shots to load this gun. You just open the gate and the cylinder spins freely both ways. That's kind of unique to Ruger, I think. Kind of neat. There is no clicks or anything. And you don't have to have it on half cock or anything like that. But when you close it, you do want to make sure that it is indexed right. So, there's what the gun looks like. Pretty awesome little gun. Plinking around and stuff. We're going to show you how it shoots. and we got different kinds of ammunition for it. We're going to try. Alright, so we got some um, Winchester Expert 22s. 36 grains. These are just round nose. Now this is the... We, we sure already shot one whole box of these. We almost shot a thousand rounds through it without cleaning it or anything. We got some of those. We got some 22 shorts here. Subsonic low noise CCIs. And we've got some Federal Game Shocks, which are um, 40 grains. They're a little bit heavier than the wind trusses are. We're going to try those. And these are just lead round nose. They're not plated or anything, I don't think. Oh, wait. Yeah, they are. They're copper plated. Sorry. And we've got some of these shot shells, which we've never shot these before. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how these work. As you can see, they're tiny little shotgun BBs in there. 31 grains. It says number 12 shot. So, we'll see how they shoot in the gun. And we've got some interesting targets for you guys to see. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is the accuracy test. We're going to shoot the three, win three Winchesters first, hollow points. And of course, to load this thing, you open the gate. And you just stick them in there one at a time. And you spin both ways, so. There you go, just like that. Now, it, um... It is kind of harder to stick these in there now because it's been shot almost a thousand times. And it rotates this way when you cock it, so there we go. Now we're gonna we got a sandbag set up. We got a target maybe 10 yards away. That's probably maximum range for this thing. And we're gonna shoot three interesters. All right, so there you go, guys. Shot I was aiming here, shot to the left, and a nice little line right there. Got as long as my finger. Could be me, but I don't think so because I've shot this gun almost a thousand times and kind of know where it's hitting at. So that's that's pretty much the average group we've been getting with this gun. Now we're going to try it with the Federals. All 
I'm going to aim on the right edge of the orange. All right, so here's how you unload this thing. Flip it open. It has a ejector rod right here. You can just push on it. Line up the hole, push on it, push on it. You might think that that would be slow, but you can actually get really fast at it. You just gotta turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. You wanna keep the gun pointed up so the shells kinda of fall out by themselves with gravity too. So. All right, so there's the three with the Federals. As you can see, that's a little bit tighter group. So it seems like I like those and better. Now I was aiming over here, so it actually hit closer to the t middle of the target too, or where I was aiming, maybe four inches off. This is maybe maybe five or five and a half. So now we're going to try the 22 shorts. All right, so this is a 22 long rifle, and this is a 22 short. You can see why they call that a 22 short. This is a dog. All right, ready? She's afraid of the camera, so. All right, now I'm going to aim at the top right corner of the orange. See how quiet that thing is? Oops. Miscalculated. No, I didn't. We had a light hammer strike on that one. Let's try it again. There it goes. All right, so we got one there, one there, and it's one of these ones in here. Not exactly sure. I think it's that one. That one? I think. So that's probably Anyways. the worst spray we've had, but it, it was aiming up here, so it doesn't really like shorts that much. So, so far, it likes the Federal's best. All right, so next we're going to shoot this 22 shot shell thing. It's a little tiny bit longer, so shove it in there. Oops, put it in the wrong spot, let's see. There we go. We're standing about 10 yards away, and we're just going to see how it patterns on this target, just one shot. Okay, well, our um, light wolf hammer spring might not be enough power to shoot these things, so let's try it again. Yep, I think we got to change back to the regular spring. All right, so we got the regular factory hammer back in there. Hammer spring, I should say. Um, and uh, so apparently the super light 17 pound wolf spring won't quite set off the shot shell things. So it probably should use like the 19 or the 18 pounds. So here we go. 10 yards again, got the shot shell in there. Here we go. So there's your target. I don't know if you can see those holes. Oh yeah, you can. They're spread out over the whole thing. This whole thing is covered in tiny BBs. So apparently 10 yards is might be a little bit reaching it for this pistol. So we're gonna try it again. We'll turn it around. We'll try it again at like maybe three yards or yeah. something like that. Almost point blank, say you're gonna shoot a snake or something on the ground at your feet or something. So we'll do that. So we're probably maybe three yards away. I mean, that close. So here we go. That's better. As you can see, that's a lot tighter group. Probably right around, that's the edge, just like that. You can see. Pretty good group there. So probably five yards for this gun, particular gun, is the max range for these shot shells. But I would say that would probably do some damage on a snake. And we are going to shoot some more interesting targets with this later. But first, we got a regular 22 rifle. And we're going to shoot the same bullet out of it. Well, not really a bullet. The same shell out of it and see how it patterns. Uh, where's the shell on the right? All right. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We got this. Um... Sorry, he wasn't aware that we were recording. Oh, oh my bad. Yeah. Um, anyways, there it is in there. Let's see if it actually feeds it. No problems. All right, so here we go. Ooh, didn't set it off. Let's try to shoot it again. Alright, so when that happens, we're going to wait a little bit, um, make sure it doesn't go off by itself. Um, we have been waiting for a little bit, so we're going to pull it out of there. 
See, it hit that primer pretty hard. It still didn't set it off, so we're gonna try to stick it in there a different way. It could be the round. Uh, here we go. Oh, well, went off that time. All right, so trying to get it so you can see those little tiny holes, but it actually patterned way worse than the pistol did. You can see it's way super spread out. And here's the pistol you can see. You can see the little, little tiny holes on the outside and in the center. So next we'll shoot it at three yards. All right, so you can see it's way worse than the pistol was. That's actually kind of weird. It's like a ring of thick concentration right there. And it's empty here, and it has a few more in the middle. Is that making you feel sick? But the pistol, it's all right in the middle. So that's not what we were expecting. All right, so we have a hypothesis, just so we don't sound stupid. We think that the BBs are probably bouncing around in a longer barrel for a longer period of time, which might be throwing them off. Or as it, rather, in the shorter barrel, it's not in there as long, obviously, so it stays together longer. That's our hypothesis. If that's not true, or if you agree with us, please let us know in the comments. All right, so as we promised, some interesting targets. This is the first one we're gonna be shooting at. This is just a super crappy knife that we were given. We did not buy this piece of trash. It's supposed to have a locking mechanism, which obviously does not work. So it's got some interesting Chinese dragon logo thing on one side. I'm trying to open it one-handed here. So, yeah, first we're going to shoot this with the shot shells and see what happens. And we've also got a water balloon, which is actually a white water balloon with red marker drawing on it and some blue dye inside. So it should look pretty cool in slow motion when we blow it up. All right, so we hope you can see that we've got you set up in the tripod here. So, there it is. So, you can see the damage that it did to it. Broke the pretty dragon handle scales that were on it. Didn't really do anything to the metal liners underneath. Did it hit the blade at all? Um, can't really tell because it's already kind of dinged. But, uh, yeah, so it broke the little plastic handle scales. All right, so next we're going to shoot it with the regular 22 long rifle, and we'll try to make it in slow motion, too. All right, so as you can see, it went completely through the knife, smashed it up, broke both of the handle scales completely off net, well, almost completely off, just that little tiny bit right there. Will it close? So, yeah, let's see if this thing closes. <laughs> Almost. Whoa. Well, that's still good for pretty carrying. much. Yeah, you can still carry this around for your EDC. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we're going to shoot it again with the regular bullet and we're going to shoot the blade part. Right, so as you can see, it's completely fine. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's kind of screwed. As you can see, it broke it right off. You can see where it hit the blade right there. You see it's squiggly now. So, not sure you can really carry this around so much anymore. Maybe just this is like a razor or something. I don't know. But it does close completely now. So, that's pretty cool. So, we've got our Mr. Balloon terrorist coronavirus man whatever you want him to be we're gonna shoot him with the shotgun shell thing all right now we have a cow skull this is a cow skull yeah and we're gonna shoot it in this order so that way it'll make it easier when we do slow motion uh shot shell shot long shell. rifle and a short so there you go we're gonna shoot it in that order and see what it does to the cow skull. This actually could be a horse skull. Not totally sure, actually. All right, we've actually decided not to do slow motion on the cow skull, so sorry. 
It might be kind of boring to watch. Yeah, we'll see what happens, so. Shot sale first. Long rifle. In the short. All right, so we've got shot shell, we've got long rifle, and short. You can see both the solid ones went right through, and some of the BBs actually went through the skull, so that's kind of cool. Um, can't really see the other side. But there you go, so that should kill just about anything you want to at close, really close range. Yep. All right, so now we've got it out, and we're just going to run some rounds through it, these steel targets. <laughs> Shooting shorts now. Good, you hear that? Huh. Probably like 50 feet away. More like 15. All right, now we're going to shoot it with some shot shells. Check out the cool spider. See him in there. All right, so next one, we'll try some cowboy action shooting since this cowboy gun. We don't have a holster, but here we go. Right above it. <laughs> Alright guys, so that'll probably be it for our review on this Ruger Wrangler. Hope you enjoyed it. We really, really like really like shooting it shooting this gun and um it's really fun because the bullets for it are super cheap of course it's 22 long rifle like i said we do think it's better than the heritage probably not as good as the colt but we're probably not gonna be able to find the colt anywhere it's a really nice gun especially for the money probably one of the well it is the cheapest ruger you can buy also i should say if you want to buy wolf springs for it you can buy them it takes the same springs as a ruger single six does i think it has the same hammer and trigger too i think i'm not sure though it's easy to take apart and do we might make a video on that later when we get another set. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you did, and stay tuned to our channel for more videos like this because we've got a lot more guns to show you.